Hey, CB family, before the video start, I just want to inform everybody that's watching this video, the raffle for this mare right here has started. Um, this mare right here, this is the mare that's getting raffled off. Um, he can be shipped worldwide. Um, he come with his health certificates, registration paperwork. He come with everything, full breeding rights. Um, and also this raffle, this is what I'm going to include. The winner that went there, they're going to be three winners. So you guys know how I always do it. They're going to be the puppy, first prize, second prize, 500, third prize, 500. So it makes it even. There's only 250 slots. I'm not doing a raffle created like I was doing a, a couple of days, uh, like last week. I'm not doing it that way. I'm going to do it like how I was originally doing them on Instagram. Um, so in the description box is going to be my Instagram and my email. Those are the two ways to contact me. Um, Instagram or email for the ones who don't have Instagram. You can contact me through email. Cash app, Venmo, Zelle. I pay $25 per ticket. After all 250 slides are filled, the raffle will be over. Um, I will be choosing the winner live on YouTube and live on Instagram. Um, the winner of the raffle puppy will be in my YouTube video. I will make, I will dedicate one video strictly for that person. I'm going to fly them out here. So they can pick up the pup. Hopefully, whoever wins, they can fly out. Go ahead and pay for you guys to fly out. Get a video with me. Um, picking your pup up, all that good stuff to get you some free publicity. Um, it's only 20 followers, you guys. If you don't even enter, you give yourself a chance to not even, like, you're not even giving yourself a fair chance to win. It's only 25 hours. That's Chick-fil-A money. That's Chipotle money. That's Mary Jane money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's $25. Like, you guys, please, let's not do no rig. Let's not do no scamming. You guys, let's try to please be fair to everybody. No scamming, man. Let's just be honest, man. Let's just try to win the puppy, man. It's crazy because a person that scam could have been the one that win. You know what I'm saying? So 25 unlimited entries. You can enter as many times as you want. Uh, 250 slots. I started it yesterday, so some of the slots have been taken up. Um, it's going to go quick, man. So don't wait till the last minute. We're trying to enter the raffle. Go ahead and enter now. Um, again, Instagram or email. I take those methods of payments. Um, let's start the video. All right, you guys. So you guys know I'm currently headed to the vet with my baby, Precious. My French Bulldog. We're trying to see what's going on with her. Um, man, I've heard it could be a numerous things, and I just hope it ain't nothing serious. Cause you guys know, like, like I love, I, I love my dogs. I got genuine love and care for my dogs, and I do anything in my power to help my dogs and make sure they're okay. So we're just gonna see what they're talking about. See what's going on. Precious, you okay, baby? Precious. You guys know I just got in the French Bulldog game, so I don't really know much about Frenchies at all. I'm not going to lie to you, so I'm um, going to see what they're talking about. i catch y'all in a minute. I'm almost there. I'm about five, ten minutes away. Luckily, my vet, 24 hours, like 24 hours, no matter what time of night it is, I can pull up. And I'm VIP customer, so y'all know what time it is. Like, I take so much. I get them so much money, you know what I'm saying? I just made them a, a, a quick 2000 a couple nights ago with Nova. But it's good because I got to uh, get some more. Uh, I got to get a uh, refill on Nova's prescription while I'm at it. So let me go ahead and do all that. Knock two birds out of one stone. I'm going to catch on in a little minute. All right, all right y'all. I'm here with this girl. So we're going to see what's going on. Precious, you okay? This is Tommy. I'm in for the appointment with my... Tommy with the French Bulldog. Yes, ma'am. VIP customer, that's all I have to say. Oh. Damn, yo. Damn, she can't control her Bowser. Oh, look at her. Find the actual problem with the spine. Yeah. The spine We're going to take an x ray and see if we can locate it. Okay, you got that? I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I want to get something else. We don't have any needles in here, do we? In here, no. No, okay. We don't want flying needles. So, at least we know you got a little filling in them, so you do feel it. <sighs> I 
the thing about it, I heard it's very common in French Bulldogs. Is it? I heard it's very common. I heard it's very common. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, nothing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, that means the problem is somewhere down there. Yeah. Below. Okay, there she stuck. So oh, but here's where she feels because you see the skin. Yeah, the little But when oh, I go yeah. down here, oh, there's, there's oh, not there. really a whole lot of skin crawl. So the problem is somewhere up in here. Because this is what's called a segmental. Okay, there we have. That means here to here to here to here to here is fine. Cool. Because this is what's called a segmental reflex. Mm -hmm. It goes from here to here. So once we go down here, it, there we feel it. Now we're losing it. Mm, so gosh. our problem is somewhere, somewhere right back there. Somewhere back there. Gotcha. Makes sense. Right. So I think you actually get right from here. Mm, good doggy girl. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Let me go all the way down, up, yes, and the system, and I'll come back. Perfect, yes, ma'am. Okay. This is this is where I, the viewers of Florida, trying to guess. Okay, we said the yeah, right here. About, so, yeah, about here. So we're saying about L. I'm gonna say L1 to L2. Cool. Okay. <sighs> to the uh, front side, it wouldn't necessarily be the whole spinal. No, it's it's probably just one little location. Perfect, okay. It's, it's, and I'm just using my common knowledge. I mean, the spine, goes through, the spine goes through your whole body. So they go through your whole body and she responded to the so first. It's, it's, it's probably the spine from the head to that one point is fine. It's fine, and then from that, that one, one point, point to the... To to the very and then back to that to the very end. Is but, how but, but what I don't understand is, I just, it just makes Rupture no sense. Okay, Rupture gotcha, gotcha. That's the most likely cause Cut. of something happens suddenly. She ruptures her disc and then it's now shot through her whole body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's very common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's why it's very common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The part I don't like is we like to see them with deep pain because. If it's just the loss of what's called the proprioception when I put the legs, injury to the spine is near the surface of the spine. But when you start to see problems with the deep pain when I pinch to them, that means the lesion in the spine is going deeper and deeper into the spine. Mm. So it could mean that the, this lesion is deep into the spine. Mm. So the, that's, that's good. And this is probably one they would probably do surgery because there is deep pain. A lot of times, if they don't see any deep pain, they don't see. They may not even do surgery because. In that case, so in that case, would it be like a? Two options: a cart where she wheels herself around the cart, or euthanasia. Really? Yeah. You serious? Yeah. You think she'd be able to walk here? There's not likely to. Really? She's not likely. So okay, so if they do surgery, she might has a chance. Okay. But um, obviously, we try medications at the same time. Okay. But the deeper the lesion, the less chances. Gotcha. Okay. That's, okay. That's why we. Like All right, you guys, YouTube. So check back in with you guys. So it is a ruptured spine. Um. So I got to take her to the specialist. See if she's gonna need surgery, or they said either three options: surgery, um, the little you know, like the men in black, the dog with with the wheel thing, or euthanization. Um, euthanization is something I'm not trying to do at all. Like that's not even on the list. That's not on my list at all. So euthanization off the list. I don't care about none of that. That's, that's literally euthanization is literally off the list. Not gonna take her life because this right here, like I'm not doing that. 
She's a perfectly healthy, fine dog. Like vitals, heart, everything is fine. So why would I choose euthanization? That's not gonna happen with none of my dogs. I don't care. How can I determine to take their life? No, we're gonna let God determine when their life is taken, not me deciding to take their life. I'm not doing that. That's disrespectful to my dogs. Like they not just dogs. Like they got hearts, they got brains, they got all that. So why would I do them like that? I got too much love for them to even do that. Nah. Utilization out of it. That's out of it. That's out of it. Nope. CB Kennel family, look. So you guys know this is the next day after I got back from taking Precious to the vet. And bro, yo, they gave her some medicine. Well, you guys know what Dr. said. She gonna have to have surgery, all that good stuff. Bro, they gave her some medicine. And bro, she's doing well. She only took one dosage of it. She's starting to try to walk. She's starting to try to like move. She's more active. Yo, I don't know what this medicine is they gave her. Well, all I gotta do is go read it, you know, read it. But, bro, it's definitely helping. She's trying to walk. I'm trying to keep her, you know, like to stop walking. But, bro, she was just standing up. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, look, you gotta stay positive. You gotta stay positive. I, I still probably won't breed her, but it's not even about me breeding her. It's about her getting well. You get what I'm saying? Like, genuinely care about my dog. So, it's genuinely anything about breeding her. It's about her getting genuinely well. You know what I'm saying? So she's not standing up right now, you guys. She just was. And it's crazy because I only gave her one doses of her medicine. And, man, it, it did justice. Um, she's definitely more active. I don't know what it's doing. I'm going to do some research on the medicine also. I had to buy some new meds for Novo. The meds were expensive. But it's all good. I'm not tripping. But um, I got to take her today for her appointment with the uh, specialist to see what's going on. I'm trying to see, move. Let me see. I want to keep her. Still. I don't want her to move too much, but can't press. Can't press. She was literally just standing. I'm not playing, y'all, but she was literally just standing. But so far, so good. I keep y'all updated.